the defense was outstanding and really played up to their potential. The, the first two games were rough, you know, especially the Johns Hopkins game. And, um, you know, I, I, we finally got some, some players back and some players in the, the positions that they operate best at. Ryan, Ryan Cabrera coming back, uh, just put, you know, Ryan, or excuse me, Nate Sakalo back to his safety position uh, where we feel that's the best fit for him. And then Marco Toth to be the boundary outside backer. So that kind of made everything click. And boy, I think it was the best performance, gosh, in, in the last five years, really since Illinois Wesleyan um, from our defense against a very good offense um, to come up with the numbers that we did, you know, seven sacks, um, you know, all the disruptive plays. We really needed it because we, we we struggled to find a rhythm on offense because W and J's defense was was doing such a good job, um, but offense found a way to create some big plays. Uh, Ethan Dahlum, that last play um, was just you know again just what we thought Ethan could give us uh, when we recruited him, and it was great to see the excitement and the team coming together. Um, just a hard-fought victory that had to be, you know, fun to watch and, and certainly fun to coach and play in. Geneva's, you know, always going to be tough on the road at night. Um, they they play well in their own stadium at night. Uh, it's a great atmosphere. Um, you know, they're tweaking their option attack because of some rule changes with blocking below the waist. So they're doing a little bit more. Um, you know, right now they're sitting at 0-3, but I, I think they're dangerous. They hold the ball a long time. And it, it'll give us, it's really a redemption game again for our defense that had struggled so greatly last year against them um, in our come from behind victory. So I'm looking forward to uh, what those guys can do because they're all the same guys. And, you know, another year of experience going against that type of offense. And I'm sure, again, they're going to want to redeem themselves from their performance last year. So looking forward to it. It's always, like you said, always a challenge to play them for various reasons. And, you know, looking forward to that next step in our season. My name is Donald Day. I'm an offensive assistant on Case's football team. Uh, and I am a 2022 graduate of Case, University, Case Western University. My experience here at Case was amazing. Uh, I, met, I met a lot of great people. I made probably lifelong relationships here, uh, lifelong friendships. Um, the academics was, was obviously um, top notch here at, at, at Case. Um, I went under um, and studied biology. Uh, I started off thinking I wanted to do pre-med, um, but then I slowly phased over to pre, uh, pre-health um, as um, I learned more about uh, physician assistants. I, I knew that that was something I, I really wanted to do. I had gone through um, Case's uh, EMS program uh, through uh, university hospitals, and um, it, it was an amazing program. Uh, I got to spend some time in the ED, uh, shadowing nurses, um, got to do some ride-alongs um, just around the campus community. Um, when there was a call, we were we were on the road helping, uh, taking, um, taking students uh, to uh, university hospitals. And uh, so that was that was a really cool experience that I that I got to do here at Case as well. Uh, and it gave me some exposure to um, to go on and uh, become an EMS, uh, I mean an EMT outside of Case. Uh, as right now I'm currently working um, for Physicians Ambulance as well, as, um, as I'm also coaching. I'm basically an offensive assistant. Uh, I help out with the running backs a little bit, and I also just help out uh, wherever I'm needed um, on our offensive side of the ball. Uh, I work uh, with special teams. I work with our gunners um, on a punt uh, who run out and um, go out to get the punt returner. Um, I also help with recruiting as well. Uh, I'm kind of like our, our head guy for um, our diversity recruitment. Um, I know Coach Debs, Coach Slash, Coach Miller, uh, they've all been wanting to try and um, be more inclusive and bring in more diversity to Case um, and to the football team. Uh, so they kind of look to me uh, as kind of like our direction and, and helping them find guys and helping um, make um, minority student athletes um, feel welcomed when they come to campus to visit. I, I briefly had a, a quick discussion with Coach Debs in the, in the spring, so I want to say around February. Um, and we had talked and 
the question sparked um, if I would like to return and continue coaching. Um, and I immediately was like, I, I would love to, but uh, there was there were some things that I had to figure out first because I obviously I, I want to go to uh, PA school. Um, so after talking to my parents, my, my parents were like, like, why would you not do that? You're, you're taking a gap year. This is an amazing opportunity. And I, I completely agreed with them. So um, it, I, I decided to come back and um, help coach the football team. Uh, and I, I, I don't look I don't want to look back at it at all. It was an amazing decision. Um, and I, I, it's just amazing to be a part of something, um, something special like this. Case is just an amazing environment. Uh, it's a, a, just the way the students um, kind of congregate together and, and make everybody feel welcomed is just such a, an amazing place to be um, for anybody. Uh, and I know the, the coaching staff, they were just very welcoming and having me back another year. Um, so that I just it just felt right. It felt right to, to stay for another year um, and to continue um, continue uh, my journey.